But there's some things you can do to protect your digital content. First things first, what you can do, there's some things you can do to prevent it from happening. And there's some things you can do if it does happen. So let's focus on the preventative first. So to prevent people from plagiarizing your material, a few things you can do is obviously on every piece of content you put out, where appropriate, just include a copyright notice so at the bottom of your content, at the bottom of your website, just include a, a copyright notice. Now I know a lot of people don't pay attention to that. They will see it, they'll cut and paste, and they'll steal your content. You can't really stop it. If you're putting stuff out, there's not much you can do to, to stop people from doing it. If they're gonna steal it, they're gonna steal it. Um, another thing you can do is to try and brand everything. So you'll see on, on certain pieces of content, you'll see a watermark at the top, you know, in the top of the screen, sometimes they put like a, a watermark. Um, maybe in the back, they'll, they'll fade like a, a logo on there. So try to brand all your, your material. Now, obviously, you don't want to go crazy and brand it to the point where it's, it's um, made it difficult to consume. You know, the reader's looking at it and thinking, what is this? Is it just an advert for, for, your, uh, for your business? But sensibly and where appropriate try to brand your material so you'd have your logo on there your name on there um, a link to your website etc so branding branding your material that's another thing you can do another thing if if it's audio then um you know mentioning your name so starting it hi this is tony brown of tonylbrown.com blah 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 so you basically your your audio branding it or your audio marking it so just include your your brand throughout the the audio where possible and another thing you can do is um so we're moving on to instead of preventative now okay so it has happened someone stole your material what can you do to you know to kind of limit the the damage as it were so you can do what's called a dmca which is the uh, digital manelium copyright act and you can basically you can send a takedown notice to the web hosting provider where the the material is held so that's something you can do um, what what the hosting company will do they'll have to look at the content and take it down if it is found to be plagiarized material you can also use websites such as copyscape copyscape.com and it's a free plagiarism checker and you can also do something simple as simple as a, a google alert so if you go to google alerts and you put in whether it's your name the name of your content the name of your company and any every time that is mentioned online it will send you an email and it will give you the the URL, the web address as to where it was mentioned. So you can just keep tracks of where you've been mentioned. That's also good for tracking as well. So digital content theft, it's a real issue and you need to protect yourself against it. So bear that in mind.